Hello everyone, and welcome to the second episode of Basement Theater. Right on schedule. Today we'll have a very special episode of the literary variety. Today's episode will be a passage from Franny and Zoe. Old JD wasn't too hot on the idea of people adapting his books into movies. So that's why I've chosen to do this, in an effort to anger his ghost enough to come haunt me so that I'll actually have someone to hang out with this weekend. You got a damn bug today, you know? What's the matter with you anyway? I'm sorry, I'm I'm awful. I just feel so destructive this week. It's awful. I'm I'm horrible. Your letter didn't sound so damn destructive. Well, I had to strain to write it. <laughs> you want another one? Franny, would you like another martini or what? I'm sorry. Uh No, thank you. I mean, yes. Uh, I don't know. How? <laughs> Which is it? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> I'm lousy today. I, I am way off today. I, I'll snap out of this in a minute. I promise. You know, if it weren't so late and everything, and I hadn't decided, like a fool, to go out for honors, I think I'd drop English. I don't know. I, I'm just so sick of all the pedants and the conceited little terror down as I could scream. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll stop. I, I give you my word. It's just, you know, if, if I'd had any guts at all, I wouldn't have gone back to college this year. I'm serious, it's all the most incredible force. Uh, brilliant, that's uh, that's brilliant. I'm sorry. sorry. Stop saying you're sorry, do you mind? It may not have occurred to you that you're making one hell of a sweeping generalization. I mean, if all English department people were these great little Terra Downers, that'd be completely different. I know. What? I said I, I know, you're right. I'm just way off this weekend. Don't pay any attention to me. I mean, hell, there were incompetent people in all lines of work. I mean, that's basic. Let's drop the damn section then for a minute. Are you listening to me or what? Yes. I mean, two of the best men in the country are in your English department. Manolis and Esposito. Hell, I wish we had them here. You know, at least they're poets, for heaven's sake. But they're not. That's partly what's so awful is they're not even real poets. They're people who write poems that get published and anthologized all over the place, but they're not even real poets. Let's not talk about this. I, I, I've ruined the whole weekend. I'm way off. For it. Maybe there's a trap door under my chair and I'll just disappear. <laughs> You're not ruining anything. I'm just interested in finding out what the hell goes. I mean, do you have to be a damn bohemian type or dead to be a real poet? I mean, what do you want, some bastard with wavy hair? No, no. Can't we just let it go? I'm feeling absolutely lousy, and, and I've got this terrible... I'd be very happy to drop the whole subject. I, I'd be delighted. Just first tell me what a real poet is, and I will drop it. I, I'd appreciate it. I really do. I don't know what a real poet is. I wish you'd stop it, Lane, because I'm feeling very peculiar. All right, I'm very all right, okay, and I relax. can't. I was only trying to... I know this much is all. If you're a poet, you're supposed to do something beautiful. I mean, you're supposed to leave something beautiful after you get off the page and everything. The ones that you're talking about, they don't leave a single solitary thing beautiful. All that may be slightly better ones do is they sort of get inside your head and they leave something there but just because they do just because they know how to leave something it doesn't have to be a poem for heaven's sake it might just be some kind of terribly fascinating syntaxy droppings if you'll excuse the expression like Manalus and Esposito and all those other poor men uh I thought you liked Manalus as a matter of fact I remember you saying last month that you thought that he was darling and that you liked him I and do, I do like him I'm just sick and tired of just liking people. I wish I could find somebody that I... Excuse me. Uh, 
Excuse me. Just a minute. What's the matter? You, you feel all right? I'm fine. I'll be back in a second. Anything wrong or what? 